If you are interested in learning how to make apps, websites, video games, or just some cool hacker type stuff with your computer, then you've probably been thinking about learning either coding or programming. But what's the difference and which one should you learn to become an expert and create the things you want to create and achieve your goals? Well, in this video, I'll tell you the difference between programming and coding. Computer programming and coding are just two different words to describe the exact same thing. So there is no difference. Coders and programmers do the same thing. They're identical. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. No, 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 wait a second. I'm just kidding. Of course, I'll be giving you some more useful information in this video, especially if you are interested in making apps, video games, websites, or create other cool things. I think it'll be a good idea if I give you an overview of what it means to be a software engineer or a developer and what exactly it means to be a coder, a programmer, and how each of them are different from, for example, hacking or scripting. So at a very fundamental level, when talking about computers, we distinguish between software and hardware. Hardware is everything that's physical and that you can touch. So the electronics that make the actual computer, the screen and the device itself. Software is anything that's the virtual stuff that the computer creates, okay? It takes electricity and through some smart logic created by programmers using like ones and zeros, the hardware chips in your computer can create virtual worlds just like any of your video games or apps that you use on your phone or websites and even videos like this one or even boring spreadsheet software and things that businesses and big companies use. So if you want to create video games like Minecraft, Fortnite or Roblox, a website like YouTube, Reddit or Wikipedia, a million dollar app like Flappy Bird, Candy Crush or Clash of Clans, or if you want to make something that artists and creators can use like the next version of Photoshop or how about a social network like Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram or TikTok. Maybe you want to go into e-commerce like Amazon or Alibaba. Bottom line, if you want to create the next big thing in technology, you will need to learn how to code. Because even if you look at the hardware and how it's made, you won't get around the skills that coders and programmers also have, right? So even at this hardware level, coding is still involved. And I mean, even regular jobs are becoming more and more involved with technology and coding. So if you want to be the next tech billionaire like Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Jeff Bezos or Elon Musk, or you just want to have a well paying job when you're older, you definitely want to learn coding. So what exactly does a programmer or coder do and how do they get from having an idea for the next big thing to actually becoming a billionaire? Well, there's actually several skill sets we have to distinguish. And at this point, we can clearly separate between someone who's a tech entrepreneur, a software engineer, or simply a coder. See, if you want to go from having an idea for an app to actually making money from it, there are hundreds and thousands of steps in the process. Lots of little problems need to be solved. And really, that's the main thing that a software developer or programmer does, finding solutions for problems and writing code to implement the solution that solves that problem. It's really difficult to explain because it's so abstract and it's best if you really experience it for yourself, which is why I have a course that teaches you how to code and how to make your first video game so that you can see what it's like. The course is actually designed for kids between 9 and 12 years old. And you can get started with it right now by going to codeclassesforkids.com or cc4k.co. So can we say that there's a difference between a coder and a programmer? No. And even these two are quite similar to a software developer or a software engineer. We can sort of say that these two are different from hackers and tech entrepreneurs, even though they are very similar. So let me just give you an example here. Let's say you have an idea for an app, a game. Let's say you invented Pokemon Go. But I mean like before it actually existed, of course, like it's just a hypothetical example, okay? Now on one level, you have this idea how the app is going to look, how it's going to work and that you'll walk around catching Pokemons in the real world with this augmented reality and you can see a map of the world around you and of the other players. Okay, fine, but how are we actually going to make this happen? So that's where the software engineering comes in. Actually deciding to use the camera and the GPS 
and what technology to use to show a realistic Pokemon in 3D space and how to track players on the map and all of that stuff. Some of these things can be planned and strategized without even writing a single line of code yet. You just have to have some knowledge and experience of how all of this stuff works and what technologies are available and how they can be implemented. But once you have a plan in place, you've acted sort of like an architect and you've made a blueprint, well then it's time to actually make these things happen and write some code. And that's where we could say, all right, planning everything was engineering and now actually coding it. Typing the stuff in whatever programming language you use is, well, I mean programming. But the whole process is still called software development. So you already see the lines are very blurry and it can really differ from one company to the next and how they set up their work, right? Because most apps are developed by teams and they have managers and workers and bosses and directors and they might all be coders, but everyone has a different level of skill and knowledge and different experience and they take on different responsibilities and tasks in the whole project. And then even once an app has been made and it works perfectly fine, it has all the features that users want and there are no bugs in the code, well, someone still has to figure out how to sell it and how to market it and how to make money from it. That's where, in my view, a tech entrepreneur is one person or a small group of people that does it all. Like the guy who made Minecraft. He went from writing some code in Java to creating this game, building a game company around it, to finally selling it to Microsoft for $2.5 billion. So that requires some entrepreneurship and business thinking. Now, because I want my students to go on and become the next tech billionaire, I'm also focusing on teaching kids these skill sets in my online lessons at codeclassesforkids.com. So finally, let's talk about hacking and scripting. Maybe you've already watched some of my other videos about hackers, but we already know that there is ethical hacking and evil malicious hacking. All right, trying to break a website is different from trying to make sure a website can't be broken, but it requires the same skill set and the same knowledge, just like a coder. Now, when you create a video game and for example, you sell in-game items, you wanna make sure that no players lose any money or get their credit card info stolen or accidentally buy things for other players, right? So you have to protect yourself against hackers and against those people who know how to write code or even just a few lines of code, a simple script that can mess everything up. That's called cybersecurity and coders or programmers can specialize in those fields. So you still need to know coding in order to become a hacker or a specialized cybersecurity expert or somebody who protects an app or game or website against hackers. Okay, I hope you've learned something and you now see how coding, programming, hacking and software engineering is all the same thing. And no matter if you want to become the next tech billionaire, have a well paying job or just create something cool that other people will enjoy using, you should learn how to code. So come on over to my website codeclassesforkids.com or cc4k.co for short and let me turn you into a successful expert coder. In my course I'll show you how to write real JavaScript code. That's the same code that allows you to create websites but we use it to create your first video game. I'm a programming teacher and I teach kids the skill set of software developers and the mindset of tech entrepreneurs. I have big hopes that many of my students will go on to become the next tech billionaire. Could you be one of them? Try it right now by going to cc4k.co and start my interactive coding course.